Hello, and welcome back to the Feel It to Heal It podcast. So I am writing my book today, and I was just taking a little break, and I had the idea come through me to record a real quick podcast app for you, exclusive to the pod. Normally, I have it both on Instagram and the podcast. Today, I'm taking a no Instagram day. So I've been off Instagram all day. It's been challenging, but it's been so, so necessary and good. So definitely recommend it. If you guys have not taken a social media break, it just helps you feel so much more connected and present and calm and just focused. So I took it off today so I could focus on book writing. So don't mind me in my pajamas if you're watching this on YouTube uh, and my greasy hair. We are in full book writing mode, but I wanted to take just a quick few minutes to guide you how to stop overthinking. So this is going to be like a five to 10 minute episode all about how to stop overthinking in less than 10 minutes, like probably five minutes. So overthinking is a protector against an emotion in the body that your nervous system has yet to learn that it is safe to feel. So I want you to bring forth something that you have been overthinking about today. Anything. Take a moment to bring that forward in your mind. Now I'm going to guide you in releasing it in literally less than five minutes. And you're going to see how quickly this works. Put your hands on your heart or anywhere that you feel any tension. Take a deep breath into your body. Slowly release. And I want you to bring this thing forward in your mind. What are you overthinking about right now? Allow yourself to overthink it. Allow yourself to think about it for a moment. And as you're thinking about it, what is happening in your body? Now shift your focus from the overthinking to your body. What is happening in your body as you're overthinking about this thing? Doesn't matter what it is, whatever you're overthinking about. What does it bring up in your body? There's some body sensation that is happening underneath the overthinking. So bring your focus from the overthinking, whatever you're overthinking about, to the sensation in your body that it prompts. And just stay with that sensation, breathing in, sending the breath to whatever area of the body that you're feeling that tension or sensation in. Visualizing the breath going into that area. Breathing in again and release. Now I want you to get curious of what is the emotion underneath this tension. So we're digging into layers of an onion. The first layer is the actual overthinking, whatever the thing you're overthinking about is. The second layer is bringing your awareness to the sensation. The third layer slash third step is identifying the emotion. What is the emotion underneath that tension? So if there's tightness in your chest, a pit in your stomach, is it fear? Most likely it's fear. If not, it could be shame. It could be sadness. It could be anger. But most likely with overthinking, it's fear. Could also be shame. That could be a close second. So noticing what resonates for that body sensation. Or could there be both? Is there a little bit of anger and shame and sadness? So breathing in again and just noticing what the emotion is. Saying to yourself, I honor and see you emotion. So I honor and see you anger. I honor and see you sadness. And now we're just going to feel that feeling. So breathing in with it, just allowing space, noticing if your mind gets busy with thoughts again, and then refocusing to the breath, to that emotion. We are shifting our focus from the overthinking, the thoughts, to the actual emotion that are prompting those thoughts. So we're just going to take a few breaths together as you allow yourself to feel whatever the emotion is. So breathing all the way in. And release. Again, breathing in. And release. Noticing if there's any resistance to being with the emotion, knowing that this is normal. As your nervous system is still learning, it's safe to feel that emotion. Just doing your best to notice any thoughts or distractions or resistance and then refocus on the emotion. 
knowing that you are so safe to feel it and I am here with you as you do. Breathing in again and release. And we're just gonna notice the sensation. Is it moving anywhere? Is it getting heavier? Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. That's okay. It doesn't mean you're unsafe. It just means you're allowing yourself to actually feel it, which is going to help it move through your body. Noticing if it's moved anywhere else in the body, just redirecting your focus to that place. Paying attention to the tension, letting it know that you see it, that you're paying attention to it. You're allowing yourself to feel it. Spending a few moments doing that. Deepening the breath. Releasing any stagnant air out of the lungs. Always having the exhale be longer than the inhale. Breathing in again. Maybe sighing it out. Noticing the thoughts coming back and then refocusing on the tension in your body, the emotion, the root. And then breathing until you notice it move, soften, shift. Again, it might get heavier before it gets softer. That's okay, just stay with it. Keep refocusing on it, keep breathing with it. Keep allowing it to be there without trying to fix it or make it go away, just allowing space to hold it. Maybe if this feels in alignment for you, imagining what a child would need, what you as your younger self or any child would need if they were feeling that emotion, if the child were feeling scared, what would they be needing? Imagine giving yourself that. Maybe giving your inner child a hug or just reassurance that they're safe. Breathing in again, noticing where you feel that younger part of you in your body. And if you're unable to connect to this younger part, that's okay too. Just stay with the sensation whatever is present. Continuing to stay with it. Continuing to notice anything that comes up and then coming back to the breath, back to the sensation, back to the emotion, back to the root. Letting your younger self know that you see how they're feeling and that it is safe to feel that way. Taking another deep breath in and slowly release. And just noticing how your body feels. Does it feel any heavier, softer? Has the emotion moved through at all? If not, just continue breathing at your own pace. And coming back to this episode as often as you need throughout your day, remembering that our adult selves who have built internal safety, all that means is that we feel safe to feel our emotions. We get out of our head because we are safe to feel the emotion. When we're stuck in our heads overthinking, we know that that is a younger part of us that did not learn that it was actually safe to feel emotion for a number of reasons. Maybe you were judged for your emotion. Maybe you were not attuned to, maybe you were criticized or invalidated, whatever it is, just honoring that and then building that internal safety by coming back to what is the root? What is the emotion? Getting out of the head and into the body. When you do that, it's going to calm the thoughts in your mind. So let me know how this worked for you, how this helped. And remember, this is a practice, a daily practice. So if you didn't feel that much shift today, that's okay. Keep coming back to this. And remember, anytime overthinking shows up, that is a protector. It's not actually going to solve anything. You want to actually feel better and not suffer by being a prisoner of your own mind. You have to get into your body and feel the feelings and know that your feelings are valid. Your feelings make sense. They come from a very real root and you are so safe to feel them. And I'm here with you every step of the way. Love you all so much. Let me know how this landed for you and I will see you in the next episode.